Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
Oh, ducks, they put a smile on my face every day. All right, I'm gonna do the water and the food for these guys. I, <laughs> poor Doug, he's not having a good go over here. Um, I was inside uh, doing the water uh, and the food here for the ducklings. And I haven't turned the electric fence off yet because I just came straight down to the barn and Doug got nailed. Then, and it sounded like, actually it sounded like he was getting his head cut off. I have no idea where he, he took off down to the swamp. Um, poor guy. Yeah, where is he? Doug! Hey, Doug! <laughs> oh, he's somewhere around here. Well, I know the electric fence works. <coughs> yeah, he's gone. He's in the bush somewhere. And nothing in the trap. Actually, just going on the trap here. That trap, I, I don't, uh, I'm not getting this trap. You know, we had coons, and now we, uh, you know, we can't even get a coon to go in and gnaw down on a, uh, a duck leg, which makes no sense. And yeah, still not tripped, and the duck leg is still there. Look at that. That's bizarre. Now that's we just had a transient coon come through here. But, you know... I don't get that. Usually, you know, when you get a coon, they guarantee you'll get the, the next night they're back and you'll get them. So, all right, I'm going to do the, the ducklings water because uh, they need water and they're out of food. Well, I fed the uh, the ducklings and I've got the water done here and there's no sign of Doug. He took off into the swamp. So, the last time with the gun, he took off for about 25 minutes and he was in the swamp and he came back just really filthy. I think he hides down. I think that's a safe place, but no sign of him. He'll come back. Look at the little ducklings. Poor dog though, eh? This week he's had like, you know, the gun freak out and then he gets last night, you know, I get him over the gun, which was a traumatic event getting him over the gun because in the beginning he was pretty stressed out. Uh, at the end he was calm and, you know, he came in the house where he was normal actually. Uh, in the house he didn't, uh, he wasn't, he didn't go upstairs and hide. But uh, <laughs> this morning, getting nailed. He just does a clue into the fence and that's not the first time. He's been, uh, that's, I think that's the third time. He uh, you know, has shocked himself on the fence. The problem is, is he brushes against the fence when it's off a lot. Um, and then when it's on, you know, the one of those three times that he's brushed against it, he's grabbed himself. But I think he learned just to not touch the fence. But look at these little cute things. Where's my goose? There's, oh, there's one goose. Oh, that's a beautiful looking bird. But where are my big guys here? Let's take a look here. Oh, there's my, uh, my, uh, uh Chinese. Look at that. Oh, bring your head out so everybody can see you. Well, where's the, the really, really big guy? Uh, there's a big goose here. Where are you? Oh, there he is. There's three of them together, actually, they just walk over. It's so gorgeous. Just look at that. That's a gorgeous looking bird. But then again, the crossbreed ducks are pretty gorgeous, but I'm sort of leaning towards the geese because they're so big. I like big things. Actually, I, I was shocked. I couldn't believe the price of uh, goslings. I, uh, I was talking to a guy down uh, in southern Ontario that breeds them. A day old Chinese gosling, 20 bucks. Um, a day old uh, Anthem, $12. Um, and that's it's still got to get delivered here. If I, you know, that's a two hour drive south and he doesn't, doesn't mail. Um, you have to pick him up. So it's like, you know, four hour round trip and paying 20 bucks for a bird, uh, $12 for an Anthem. Like, uh, you know, and it, there's, I said, well, what if you buy a hundred? Price goes down to 10 bucks. Uh, I just can't believe it. Where, you know, you, know, you can get uh, you can get ducklings if you buy a thousand at a time. You can get them down for about two fifty. So uh, just give you an idea of the price, uh, the huge price. So when you buy a goose in the grocery store, a lot of it is the price of the gosling uh, right off the bat. They're just rude expensive. So 
But the water's full here. I'm just going to do the uh, the tank for the big guys. And I'm going to go look for my dog. <laughs> well, you're not going to believe where I've been for the last hour and a half. Uh, you know, Doug got uh, electrocuted there when I was doing the ducklings. And then uh, while I was in doing my chores, uh, my neighbor showed up. <laughs> yeah. Doug ran to town. Uh, now he wants to hide over the truck here. He's uh, afraid of the yard. Poor guy's had a rough week. Doug, come! Oh, poor guy. He's seriously mentally screwed up this week. Being the gun and then electric fence. But he got zapped hard, hard, real hard. Uh, because he yelped for a good 30 seconds. So he must have got, I don't know, his head stuck in the wire or something. Got a full zap. But uh, it totally, totally panicked Todd, Dougie. But he ran uh, 10 kilometers. Non-stop. Uh, I was out on the highway uh, after my neighbor told me he was running to the town. I <laughs> run to town and I, I went out there and then one of my other neighbors came down and said, Matt, you're looking for a dog? And I said, yeah. And he goes, uh, yeah, I've never seen a dog run so fast down the highway. He said, it was just going like a bolt of lightning. So Doug uh, has got some issues right now. Well, I just got back my neighbor uh, that came over and told me the dog was running down the highway. He's the neighbor, uh, actually. I, he didn't have to do that because him and I would be mortal enemies, uh, but he's also a dog owner, so, you know, dog owners sort of put our, their differences aside when it comes to animals, uh, when it comes to other animals. Uh, so he, you know, I went over and took him a dozen eggs and said thanks for telling me which direction Doug ran in because I honestly thought he was in the swamp this morning and you know, I was calling him while I was working in the, uh, doing the duck chores and, you know, uh, anyways, I, I, I can't believe that I picked him up like 10 kilometers away. Uh, and it only took him like less than 10 minutes to get that distance. Um, hello little ducks. How are you guys doing? I'm just headed into the garage to uh, fire up the, the weed whacker. Uh, well, I'll convert it over so that I can do the, uh, the, the swamp super highway today. Look at you guys. You're so cute. No dead ducklings so far. It looks like everybody's alive here. They're not burning too much food yet. They're uh, they're still uh, you know a little slow on the food. Lots of water, but the food is not. I would look at them just piled on top of each other there. You know, you'd think they want to you know they would be spread out, but nope, they're piled on top of each other. And there's midget duck, just smothered by ducklings. And there's a bunch of mosquitoes eating my head right now. Man, these mosquitoes this year. Little midget duck. You know, he's like the surrogate mother. Right? It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's strange how they all stick to him like this. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Midget duck. Alright. Well, everybody's good in here, so I'm just gonna go and check the uh, feed. Uh, with the piglings, the piglets, because we know, uh, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll bet you money that uh, the feed's empty. Yeah, because it's five hours. It's uh, been five hours since I filled it up at seven o'clock this morning. Hang on, I gotta lock this up. Uh, because I gotta bear with me here. I might have to do some out. Okay, I don't have to do any editing. I can. Oh, oh, that just whacked my head. Um, let's go see what the the ducks have done here. Uh, the ducklings, I should say, on the uh, food. They, uh, yesterday at this time, they stripped the feeder, so. Poor dog getting zapped like that this morning. He got hit hard, like really hard. Um, look at that. Seven eighths of that feeder gone. Yeah, they could easily, I could put another bag of food in there real easy. So they, they've eaten a bag of food today. Uh, they're pigs, unbelievable pigs, so. But I gotta get uh, the weed whacker fired up here. And, well, I gotta go do egg recon first. Uh, and then I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm not gonna video egg recon because it's it's really just, uh, it's not a very eventful item right now with all the stuff that's going on. And I know, I, I know some of you guys have asked for it, but it's just, you know, we got ducklings right now. And uh, that's what this is all about, ducklings. But I, um, poor Doug. Oh man, he's had a hard week. You know, considering he had, you know, we had the gun, 
you know, freaked out about the crows killing the crows and the fox, and, you know, and then uh, the last night though, you know, sighting in the 22, he was perfect. Like at the end of the night, he was, he was wagging his tail. Like he was in the yard wagging his tail. And do scared dogs don't wag their tail. So, uh, you know, getting nailed this morning, he turned his head right off. Like to run, you know, 10 kilometers is uh, roughly six and a half miles, you know. Six to six point two miles, you know, that's a long distance to run at full board with your brain turned off. Um, you know, and the speed that people were, you know, that I saw him. Because how I found him was, you know, people were they saw him. He, he was like a small horse running through town. Um, I didn't I didn't have any problem finding him. Uh, they, 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 everybody said the same thing. Never seen a dog run so fast. So maybe Doug's got a future in track racing, I don't know. Well, I'm finally gonna get the weed whacker pirate up here. I, I just made some more watering stations for the ducks because they're going through a lot of water and uh, I want to uh, basically double the uh, capacity here. So I took one, another one of those kiddie pools and uh, bent some wire for around it, cut the edge off so it's a, uh, the lip of it is, is not in the way. And uh, so now they've got two of the, uh, the big kiddie pools, well, three foot diameter. So each one of those uh, holds uh, 60 liters of water I think, or 70, I think it's 70 liters of water. No, it was 60, that's what it is, 60. Uh, and then we got that one that holds uh, 30, yeah, that one holds 30. So, and we've got uh, the two trays in here for the smaller ducklings when they come out of the barn. Now, I just want to get more water in here because, you know, they can drink out of the pool uh, when they drink these down, but I, I just, clean water is good. They, are, they can drink a little bit of feces laden water, but uh, if they've got clean water to wash out their system, it just helps uh, eliminate any sickness. But everybody's just relaxing. I just had, I just picked the geese up. I didn't, I don't have my pivot heads on, uh, but I just gave uh, my geese some lovings. I'm all alone today uh, because uh, Doug is in the house uh, hiding. He won't come outside. The electric fence really screwed his head up today. Um, he's a mess. I think Doug's uh, had a bad week here with the guns and, uh, you know. But last night, you know, I, I, I got him when I was shooting there and he was as calm as could be and actually, the last uh, 10 shots when I was sighting in the 22, he was actually laying beside me and I didn't even have to tie him. Uh, you know, so, you know, he wasn't trying to get away or anything. He, he actually laid right beside me while I was shooting and, uh, you know, and then I walked down to the target and he walked with me to the target and, you know, his tail was wagging, walking across, like he was, he was normal last night. I got him over the gun thing and then today, you know, I, I think he probably got his head jammed in the wire and got a solid... 9900 volt zap uh, like a solid not just a trickle or a slight touch he got a complete circuit and you know got hit really hard because uh you know for him to go panic like that for 10 kilometers you know six mile blind run you know scared dog freaked out now he's hiding in the house and he won't come out so anyways i'm by myself today so i'm gonna get the weed whacker going and uh don't need any company for that that's a pretty mindless job i can't help myself i'm uh i, I was supposed to go to the garage here but i had to come and see the babies um, tomorrow I'm going to bring in the second pool here for them and split them apart, give them a little more room. Uh, the floor of the thing is filling up good. So tomorrow, uh, they'll be big enough tomorrow I can put straw in and uh, be able to split them up. They're starting to uh, eat more. Oh. But it's, you know, they just snug up right on top of each other. It's so priceless looking. I don't know guys, I'm going to clean this out tomorrow and you get uh, more uh, room tomorrow. This, look at them, they're so cute. The little Muscovy's buried in there. Little ducklings. They, they're so precious looking when they're tiny. You know, they've got the smallest little faces. Oh, I know little ducks. I really like, oh, I can't even grab that guy. He was so quick. So, uh, I was gonna grab, there's another one with, uh, looks like he's got eyeliner on. Oh, I'm not gonna freak these out. Don't worry. Yes, I know. All right, I'm up to the barn and I'm gonna start working on the uh, weed whacker. Get her converted over and we're gonna start cutting that trail. 
and uh, it, the water's still pretty deep, so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna cut as much as I can with the, you know, the water levels up, and you know, I'll, I got a hunch it's gonna be a real spray. I'm, gonna, I'm in for a shower here, I think, uh, and, and gucky, ucky swamp water shower. Ugh. Well, I, I didn't get the uh, the swamp uh, started, but I got the uh, the bushwhacker set up and running, and uh, I got it running good actually this year. Um, but I've been cutting around the yard in spots where, uh, actually specifically spots where the uh, fox was hiding. Um, so I'm cut. I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm going around the yard and I'm just cutting all the uh, uh, the high spots anywhere where he can creep up and just sit there and wait to to pounce out on a duck on the yard. So. But tomorrow's the big day. Uh, we're gonna cut the path, and uh, I'm gonna get it wide open to the swamp, and, and I'm gonna cut a bunch of spots in the swamp just to uh, to uh, make it not as uh, advantageous for the fox to creep up. So I got a lot of cutting to do. I'm gonna cut the the whole side of the yard over there, all that tall. Uh, I'll show you the area. That area there. That's where the uh, fox came out of uh, the last time. He circled back around. And came up on that side of my yard so I'm gonna cut all that stuff down uh, all the weeds and just so that uh, he can't uh, uh, creep up on the ducks anymore coming up through the swamp so I got a lot of cutting tomorrow I figure I got about probably about an acre uh, to cut with the uh, bushwhacker I gotta do it with the blade too so but the ducklings are uh, ready for the night and my uh, my geese are so cute oh my god they're gorgeous Look at that. That's a beautiful looking bird. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the camera to focus for you. Oh, you're going inside. Well, we gotta go inside anyway. See, uh, uh, the door's open and uh, it'll say hi to the ducklings. So I got a big day tomorrow. And I'm beat tonight. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. We got a whole bunch of ducks are inside here. Hello, ducks. Oh, you guys are in for the night early. Look at this. I was wondering, I was outside doing the water and the checking their food, and uh, I noticed, I said, okay, there's a bunch of missing ducks, and, and they're all in here. And they're ever big, like, when you look at the size of them, compared to the ones in there. But, you know, think about this, you know, 25 days ago, that's the size they were. You know, 25 days. And then you get this. Oh, look at the geese. Look at the Chinese geese looking in. There's the, the goose is starting, the Chinese one is starting to get some uh, tail feathers. You can look here, the feathers are starting to come in. So, And you know what? The, the, um, I picked them up today. I was handling them. I didn't have the pivot heads on, so I couldn't share it with you. But uh, they're down is so much softer than a duckling like uh the ducklings are soft uh but the goslings i i actually rubbed it against my face i was rubbing the birds against my face they were so soft it was uh man it, uh, unbelievable unbelievable soft it was uh i actually i don't think i could think of anything that was ever that soft against my skin uh they were that soft but they're so cute oh my god look at this and i'm convinced that those two are related they look so much alike, their body, their stature, their their necks. It's just that, you know, the beak is not dark, but it's it's got the same shape to it. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, if uh, the geese at my neighbor's place crossbred, because the other geese don't look like these two. Um, you know, it's, it's they, they've got a different look to them. Well, I'll take a look. There's one, that one right beside it, you know? And there, there's only a weak age between the difference. And you can look, the beak is a little different shape and it's got a little different color to it. You know, uh, where this one here, you know, the beak on it is, uh, is, is a lot more like the Chinese, except it isn't dark. So I, I think it's a half breed. But I've been picking that one up, that big one there. Uh, and, and as soon as you pick it up, it gets, just goes limp in your hands. It's going to be so cool having geese on the property. You know, I love my ducks, but uh, I just think geese are so cool because they're so big. You know, nothing like a 30-pound bird uh, flying. Actually, these ones can fly. So, uh, you know, a 30-pound bird flying around the yard. Just hopefully they don't fly through the windows of the house, but, uh, you know. 
But I'm calling it a night. Uh, it's been a hard day here. Tomorrow I got a, I got lots off. I almost totally forgot. I checked my hatching book. I've got a, hatch, a batch of eggs that have got to go in tomorrow. I, I thought it was Monday or Tuesday, but it's actually tomorrow. So I've got a first thing when I get up, I first thing I have to do, I have to wash the hatcher out, wash the trays. And uh, I've got a load of, I think it's Muscovies are going in. And then the next day, uh, I think it's the next day, then there's another 180 eggs going in. So... Uh, I got a busy day tomorrow. I got to do that right off the bat. I got to put, you know, the uh, another kiddie pool in here and expand this for these little guys. And I got to go cut an acre of, uh, you know, tall grass and, and, you know, mess so that the fox doesn't get in here and, and we can get these ducks to the lake. So I know I keep saying that every day, but I'm, like I said, I'm a one-man show and I have a lot of work to do here.